Good evening, everybody. It is an honor to be here at my last, and perhaps the last, White House Correspondents' Day. <laughs> you all look great. The end of the Republic has never looked better. Yeah, that's some real funny shit, isn't it? What's going on, guys? Make Electric. It's Friday, the 27th of May, 2016. Been a while since I made a video. Been wanting to make this video for a while. Just haven't been able to come up with the words. This would be a video response to Kafka Winston World video. She did a great video on this. That'll be the first link below. I'll also put a link to the entire transcript on the whitehouse.gov website if anybody wants to go through it. I'm sure there will be people out there making excuses such as, well, this is the correspondence dinner and, you know, he's cracking jokes and whatever. The end of the Republic has never looked better. Yeah, that's, that's some real funny shit, Mr. President. You guys make excuses for the guy if you want to. I think it's pretty clear in eight years. It's pretty clear who Obama has served. It certainly has not been the American people. All that hope and change, all that yes we can. Let's just go over some of the stuff. Obviously I can give you just thousands of links. I'm just gonna break it down into a few. I don't want to keep you guys too long. Border agents ordered to stand down. They say we might as well abolish immigration laws. This is from February 2016. No southern border. Got one to go with that. Obama administration cooperates with UN on open borders. May 10, 2016, from Canada Free Press. Updated article here. Meanwhile, he's praising Merkel. Look at this. Breitbart reports. Obama in Germany. Merkel is on the right side of history in destroying Europe's borders. My friends in Europe, here's a link for you. Tell me what you think about that. Meanwhile, back at home, here comes the Obama UN refugee surge, rebranded as Safe Alternative Pathways. Safe Alternative Pathways. It's just some of the stuff he's doing, destroying our nation's borders. The end of the Republic never looked better, right? Got one from the Examiner. Look at this. Obama budgets $17,613 for every new illegal minor. More than Social Security retirees get. May 2nd, 2016. Meanwhile, let me give you a link from a while back, and I'm sure it's gotten worse since this article. Back in 2015, most Americans are one paycheck away from the street. We're giving 17000 ahead. Got a couple more here. While all this stuff is going on, they're steadily trying to disarm America because that's, that's a big part of the Republic, the Second Amendment. Social Security retirees, I'm sorry, Social Security releases proposed rule to strip, strip gun rights from some beneficiary. Take a look at what they're trying to do with this Social Security crap. Got one from RT. My friends out in California, you already know about this. Farewell to arms. California Senate passes increased gun control, a.k.a. Gunmageddon. Gunmageddon. I haven't read through the whole thing, but I'm sure it's something like what happened up in New York. Ask my friend Darren up in upstate New York about what's going on there. They banned everything overnight. What was that, a couple years ago? I got a couple videos at the bottom. Next News Network. You know, I realize that pointing this stuff out, pointing out that Obama's talking about the end of the republic has never looked better. He also hinted at a possible false flag. Could it be the last correspondence dinner? I'll make another video on that. I realize... I'm a possible domestic terrorist for supporting the Constitution of the United States. You know, that Second Amendment, the First Amendment, all that good stuff, Bill of Rights. Next News Network reports Washington Post smears Americans who support the Constitution as white racists. Take a look at the report that they've done. And I realize that a lot of Americans don't even give a crap about the Constitution, don't even care about all the stuff that's going on. So long as they can have their iPhones and their Facebooks and their football, they don't give a damn about politics. They don't give a damn about their own enslavement. They want to be entertained. If you can keep the masses entertained, you keep the uprising from happening. People just don't even care. The fluoride has worked so well. Well, let me give you some entertainment. This is a link for all the sheeple out there. There's a new movie coming out this fall. Snowden, official trailer. This movie... Nicolas Cage and big stars in it talking about the Edward Snowden story. You are going to, the American people are going to spend millions of dollars at the box office to learn about their own enslavement. But since it's a movie, it's just entertainment, right? 
No, it's not just entertainment. Please tell me your thoughts on all this. Please rate this video. Please pass it around. Make people aware. The outgoing commander-in-chief says publicly, the end of the Republic has never looked better. And people laugh at it. Please tell me if you think that's funny. I certainly do not. Until the next one, you guys take care, stay safe. Always remain vigilant. I will see you on the next one.